Something that is commonly mentioned when criticizing ICU and ICU HD is that it uses a ton of CPU when compared to other screen recording applications such as ScreenFlick and Snaps Pro X. The primary reason for this is that ICU and ICU HD compress on the fly, whereas these other applications compress after you are done recording. What this means is that when you are done recording with ICU, you can go directly to uploading to a site like YouTube, or you can go to video editing, whereas with these other applications, you need to wait for them to finish compressing before you can do this. However, the thing about ICU HD and ICU HD Pro is that the engine for recording your screen was entirely remade. It's obvious that not every user is gonna like compression on the fly, so we decided to add the feature for ICU HD Pro to be able to compress after the video has been recorded. And the really neat thing about this is that because we were using both methods, we were able to create somewhat of a blend, a mix between the two of them. So in both ICU HD and ICU HD Pro, there is a new method of compression. Essentially, it will compress on the fly as usual, but when the CPU is demanded from another application, ICU HD or ICU HD Pro will throttle down to allow this application to use your CPU. What this means is the best of both worlds. While your video is mostly going to be compressed on the fly, if it needs to, it'll be compressed after the video has been recorded.